imagine you are in a situation where you need to quickly alter the lipstick shade either for photo shoot or perhaps while editing a model's image in photoshop well you are in luck because there is a simple and convenient method to achieve just that begin by opening up the photo you are eager to edit once your chosen image is loaded and ready to roll direct your attention to the top menu and locate the filter option give that a click and from there you will find neural filters in the neural filter dialog which is like a toolbox for making changes to pictures in photoshop you will find lot of helpful tools they are there to make editing photos easier but for this specific tutorial we are picking the makeup transfer feature out of all these tools so why are we using it well imagine you have a photo and you want to make the person in the picture look better maybe with different makeup the makeup transfer feature is like a magical tool that helps us do this easily it's like giving a makeover to the person in the photo plus it's quick normally putting makeup on someone in a picture can take a long time but this tool does it in a snap all right let's take the next step you will notice there is an option for a reference image this part is important because photoshop ai uses this reference image to figure out how to apply lipstick to our photo so what you need to do is pick another image that shows the kind of lipstick you look you want it's like telling photoshop hey i want the lipstick to look like this this reference image guides the ai in making the right lipstick choices for your photo think of it as giving instructions to your makeup artist you are showing them a picture of what you want your lips to look like great now you will see a folder icon click on that folder icon and it will let you choose an image from your computer this image will be used as a reference kind of like a guide for the ai in photoshop it's as simple as picking out a picture from your photo album all right now things get really interesting photoshop is about to work its magic and apply lipstick to your photo you will see your image transform with the lipstick you choose and when it looks just the way you want it it's time to move to the next step in the output section you will find an option called smart filter this is where you want to click but why are we choosing this smart filter well because it means you can change or adjust the lipstick later if you want to you can always take it off or change it without messing up your original image now click okay to apply the changes so if you zoom in and see that the ai has applied makeup to the eyes and that's not what we want so here is how to fix it first grab the brush tool that you can use to make changes to your photo make sure you have selected the color black for your brush this is the color you will use to hide the makeup effect now start painting over the eyes with your black brush you will notice something smart filter layer mask this is where you should do your painting to hide the makeup effect from specific areas like the eyes there is a simple rule to keep in mind when you paint with black it hides the effect if you make a mistake or change your mind and want to bring back the makeup effect on the eyes just switch to the color white and paint over the area again white reveals the effect all right so the photo is looking good but we can make it even better and more natural by adding a subtle shine to the lips first click on the little plus icon this adds a new empty layer above your current work next double click on this new layer this opens up what we call blending options it's like a control panel for how this layer interacts with the one below it in the blending options look for the underlying layer section you will see a slider that's mostly black when you move it to the right you are adding shine to the lips now here is the cool part when you hold the alt key while adjusting the black slider it splits the handle into two this is like having more control one half of the slider adds a subtle shine and the other half controls how intensity it is so by splitting this slider you are fine tuning the shine effect on the lips it helps you get the perfect natural look so it doesn't appear too shiny or too dull it's all about finding that sweet spot for a beautiful natural finish now click okay to confirm the changes now here is the final touch to add that gorgeous shine to your lips grab a soft edge brush make sure it's set to the color white which represents the shine now simply paint on that blank area you created 
it's like brushing a soft subtle glow onto your lips wherever you want it you have the artistic freedom to decide how much shine and where to put it and there you have it with these steps you will achieve beautiful natural lipstick on the lips adding that perfect finishing touch to your photo editing here are the before and after results That's it for this video friends. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials and tips. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Stay tuned for our next video. Take care and happy editing.